Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex and today I'm going to show y'all how to make the Tunisian crochet woven cable. I love the texture that this cable creates and it can be made with a cable stitch holder or with a second crochet hook. And today I'll be showing both of these options. Today I'm using Universal Yarn Deluxe Bulky Superwash. I am also using a size L 8mm Tunisian crochet hook by Clover. The cable stitch holder I'm using is also by Clover, but you can use a second crochet hook that is similar in size to the main hook that you are using. Now let's get started. Row 1 forward pass, chain 18, start in the second chain from the hook and pick up a loop in the back hump of each chain across. You should now have 18 loops on the hook. Return pass, yarn over and pull through one loop. Now to begin the repeat, yarn over and pull through two loops. Continue yarning over and pulling through two loops until one loop remains on the hook. Row 2, forward pass, Tunisian knit stitch, that is the first loop on the hook. Now to begin the repeat, 2-2 two, two, LC, or the 2-2 two, two left cross, Tunisian knit stitch into the next 2 stitches. Slide these stitches onto the cable stitch holder and hold in front, Tunisian knit stitch into the next 2 stitches. Slide the stitches from the cable stitch holder to the hook and continue on. Drop the main hook and with the second hook, Tunisian knit stitch into the next two stitches. Hold in front, Tunisian knit stitch into the next two stitches with the main hook. Slide the stitches from the second hook to the main hook and continue on. Repeat the 2-2 two, two LC across until one stitch remains. I will finish my repeats and I'll be back to continue on. Tunisian knit stitch into the last stitch. Insert the hook behind the last two vertical bars. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Return pass just like before. Make sure to work the loops off in the right order. Row 3 forward pass, Tunisian knit stitch across, make a Tunisian knit stitch in each stitch across. When I reach the end of this row, I will be back to continue on. You should now have 18 loops on the hook. Return pass just like before and the timestamp will be below. Row 4, forward pass. Tunisian knit stitch into the next 3 stitches.
Now to begin the repeat, 2-2 two, two, RC or 2-2 two, two, right cross, Tunisia knit stitch into the next two stitches, slide these stitches onto the cable stitch holder and hold in back, Tunisia knit stitch into the next two stitches, Slide the stitches from the cable stitch holder to the hook and continue on. Drop the main hook and with the second hook, Tunisia knit stitch into the next two stitches. Hold in back. Tunisia knit stitch into the next two stitches with the main hook. Slide the stitches from the second hook to the main hook and continue on. Repeat the 2-2 RC across until 3 stitches remain. I will finish my repeats and I will be back to continue on. Tunisia knit stitch into the last 3 stitches. Return past just like before and make sure to work the loops off in the right order. Row 5, forward pass, repeat row 3. Tunisia knit stitch into each stitch across. I will finish this row and then I will be back to continue on. Return pass just like before. Now repeat row 2 through row 5 until the desired length. I will make mine the desired length and then I'll be back to bind off. Now to bind off, insert the hook into the next stitch just like for a Tunisia knit stitch. Yarn over and pull through the loops on the hook. Continue this across. The end. I hope you liked this video tutorial. If so, please give it a thumbs up and or share on social media. Thank you so much. Subscribe for more tutorials, fun videos, and free patterns. Until next time, bye and happy crocheting!